Generic greetings and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Today's beverage is a very tasty raspberry and pomegranate infusion. Very, very nice indeed. So the other day I was browsing the Android App Store and I noticed that Game Dev Tycoon was recommended. Not only that, but I also owned it for Android, which is something I don't remember ever purchasing, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a download and try it because it's probably been probably four or five years since I've played this thing and day 10 to night and it was quite a while later and I realised that I'd put a couple of hours into this thing. So I thought I'd try it on PC to see really how it compares to the Android version and also just to check the game out again as I said it's been quite a while since I've played it in fact if we go over to the options here we can probably see if we go to load we can see that um, yes so the last time was two minutes ago when I loaded up the game for the first time in apparently four years we have generic productions there in uh, the first save slot we have G spawn games four years ago that's when we did a series with mods and then Babylon design which was the I think the very first series upon the games release seven years ago so I don't know if we can class this as a nostalgia video but uh, either way good grief I'm getting old let's go ahead and start the game and play a little bit of it if you're not aware what the game is essentially it is a game where you make games um, you can make games and as you progress on you will hire and fire train research different things like um, engine upgrades and um, I guess you can also like expand your office as well so you go from like a one person garage operation to a, f a five person operation in an office then you get a bigger office and then you do like research and development and eventually you can make your own console and such so I'm glad to see the game is still being updated in fact I think they also have uh, cross saves as well let's go with um, generic development uh, I think that's about right and we'll just randomize the player click done there we go and it is a uh, Derek that's that's about right and yeah that's okay continue so since you've played the game before you can choose to use all previously gained hints in the new game this was a very very big bone of contention back in the day when you first started playing the game you had to pretty much just remember what the good and bad combinations were or go on the wiki and print out a list which is something I had done um, at some point but now the way you, you can play it is you play and then whether you pass or fail or get to the end whatever you can then import your uh, hints of which I am going to do so the way you do this is by clicking anywhere and go to develop new game you have to pick a topic a genre and a platform and immediately I can see that um, to be honest this looks worse than the Android version not the actual graphics in the background they're identical but the presentation with this uh, with all the UI and the topics it's just a lot slicker with the Android version especially up here as well hmm anyway let's go to topic and see what topics we have been given alternate history evolution colonization or medieval so I'm gonna go with a colonization game which is going to be a strategy game and you can either put on the G64 a lot of these are based on like real life things in fact it does follow it um, quite accurately in uh, a lot of places so we've got the G64 which has a dev cost of 20 grand and a market share of 56% but the genre matches is unknown because I've not done much on the G64 because historically that's Commodore and it goes out of business so I always stick with PC even though the market share is lower but also the dev cost is lower uh, the genre matches action plus plus adventure plus 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 RPG plus plus simulation you get the idea so strategy simulation and adventure are the best things for PC so we're gonna do that and you can see it says great combo colonization strategy is a good game so what we're gonna call this uh, we could call it uh, civilization as in one two three we're not gonna call it uh, <laughs> Sid Civ actually we'll call it Sid not Derek Civ Derek Civ there we go um, we're not gonna call it one and next so we can either have a text base which costs five grand or 2d graphics version 110 we're going to do that one and we start to tappy tap on the keyboard and we start to put some points in design and technology we now have three development stages to pick from this is development stage one and it is a colonization strategy game and you can see at the bottom once again we have well we have these three sliders for engine gameplay and story a lot of the time these sliders won't make much sense at all um, especially when you get on to adding different features into the game and your engines I don't know if we'll get to that in this video because that's progressing on uh, to the advanced more advanced stuff but anyway you can see we have time allocation so we know that engines good so it's plus plus and then a question mark because we don't know for 
the um, strategy. So we're going to go with good on engine, low on story and quests, because we don't really want much story and quests in a strategy game. But gameplay, we're going to put to about mid ground. So engine high, gameplay high. But you know what? I might do that. I think the gameplay will be quite, quite an important one. This one. So we'll click OK. A lot of the time, it is a gambling thing, and it is, it's, it's not. It's, <laughs> I say gambling. It's like a, a random. You know, do I gamble putting it into AI or level design or whatever? Um, the thing is, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it, which is a bit of a problem. I'm going to go with dialogues down below. Level design, I think, maybe quite low, but AI you want quite high, so that'll be about right there. Uh, yeah, and like you say, sometimes you are like, eh, what, what do I put in there? Why does that not work? And <laughs> because the game, as I said, has been updated, some of the stuff, I think, has changed. So, for example... Um, you might have, say, for example, Cyberpunk RPG, which historically wouldn't work very well, and then now for some reason it seems to work. Uh, I wonder why. Anyway, uh, graphics we're going to put quite low. Sound is quite a good one as well. Actually, I'm going to put graphics up a little bit, and you can see we have selections on there, so if I wanted to just turn off sounds, I don't want any sound, I could do that. It'll save a bit of money. I don't want to do that. We'll click start. We can see on the top right we have fans and the year, so we've got uh, year one, month two, week three, and then our cash, which is 42 K and if we really want to make more money we'll keep this DeLorean under the sheet in pristine condition and sell it in a couple of years time. Anyway you can see what's happened is we've got a certain amount of designer technology points, bugs have been crushed, you add those through development then you remove them and then you also have research points and then we'll finish the game. So here we go, this is Derek Civ, um, it should be called CIV but we've worked for Civ because why not. I was going to put a Z on the end but I thought that was a bit too crass and we have 14 and 11, experience gained is is 1.5 experience bonus because it's a new topic and a new combo and then all of the levels go up in engine gameplay story all the things that we were doing our sliders in and then finally our character let's release the game and we then have some more options. We can go to research, generate game report, which was not in the original, I believe. But I think we'll go for research. I'm going to pick a new topic. And we've got things like assassin, hacking, dance. We're going to go with hacking and we'll start the research. So, um, oh, game review. Our first reviews for our new release game, Derek's Civ, come in. Uh, it should be a cooking game, but there you are. And we've got a we've got a nine. That's uh, more, please, by Star Games. Thank you very much, Star Games. Uh, we've got an eight. By love it from Game Informer there. We got a seven, enjoyable by Game Hero. It's going down. If this gets, if this is a ten, it'll be pretty good. No, eight, very good by all games. So overall, seven, well, seven, eights, and nines is all right. So this is some news here. Generic Developments, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game called Derek Civ, a game which received favorable reviews. Such a good start for Generic Developments should gain fans quickly. Cool. Uh, we still have zero fans, but there you are. We are now selling, as it's showing on the top right there. And oh, we've just sold five thousand six hundred and seventy units in its first week on the market we've made it in the chart at the number 20 that's pretty good and we've also gained 48 fans excellent right let's do another game let's go with a i think develop new game we're going to have a hacking simulation game on pc and we're going to call it um uplink uplinks hang on up let's spell it all let's spell them all wrong uplinks <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have it as text-based or 3D graphic uh, or 2D graphics. I think we'll go with 2D because it's just you know more cash, more better into it. The more you spend, generally the more you get out. So we've uh, sold 10,000 units, which is pretty good. It's an important milestone for our little garage thing here. Uh, there's our research complete. It says, oh, minimize. Uh, research complete is for hacking, which should be because we are now developing that. So it says story needs to be low, gameplay quite high, and engine at sort of mid-tier. So I'm going to have it as that there. We'll just leave it as is. You can see in the background we've got like a waste paper bin, we've got bookshelves with books on, a crack in the wall, a load bearing ping pong poster, a, a spanner there that seems to be bigger than the entire wheel assembly so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, that's pretty much the same what we did previously, like level design in a hacking game doesn't make much sense but anyway, yeah there you are and uh, we'll continue on. No heating in here as well I realise and we're also to be fair in a, a big beige void like most most uh, rentable accommodations to be fair 
How we're doing for development? Seven in design, eight in technology. Let's go with really good graphics, no world design, and pretty good sound. Let's go for that and see what we get like. Eventually, once you get a total of 50 in research, you can then create your own game engine, and that's one of the things that you will want to do. There's three bugs in the code, two bugs in the code. Oh, hang on. Recent market studies suggest that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Experts said it might spell the end of com <laughs> competing hardware manufacturers. No, because we know historically that did not happen. Uh, game is off the market. That is Derek Civ. Uh, 23,406 units, generating 163,000 plus change in generic units of currency. Excellent. Not bad. There's all the bugs out the code, and there's another bug in the code, and there's a bug in the code, and there's a one... <laughs> Just back and forward. If you wait, what they'll tend to do is add a couple more on designer technology and then call it a day. And I think that's where we call it a day there. So we will say job done. New record for our technology level and new levels in some of this as well. We will release the game. And I will also now go to generate a game report for Derek's Civ. You can see the units sold, the cost, all of that sort of thing. I will do that. And what that does is gives you some insight. And uh, we'll see. What happens there? First reviews for our newest game. Uplinks are now in. We've got a 8, very good, by Star Games. Good opener there. A 7, Hacking and Simulation is a great combination, says Informed Gamer. 7, Beautiful by Game Hero. Thank you very much. And finally, 7. So, 7 out of 10. Sometimes uh, it doesn't need to be a revolutionary, it just needs to be good. And... There we go, we got a couple of research points and our game report is finished. Our post-release analysis suggests this, dialogue simply not important to this type of game. Brilliant. Okay, let's go with develop new game, pick a topic, and this time we're going to go with a ooh, alternate history adventure game. It says, it says okay combo. What if I went with, say, medieval action game? Great combo, let's do that. And this should be um, chivalry, so I'm going to go uh, sh <laughs> shiv. L R E, right? There we go. I've even put a U in there because I mistyped it. So chivalry, there we go. That'll do. Next and 2D graphics. So yeah, according to rumours, the Japanese company Nevento is planning a launch. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the Nintendo Entertainment System. Gonna do the NES, but in this will be called the Tez, I believe. So in this one, engine needs to be good. Uh, story and quests low. Gameplay it has to be quite high. We'll put it about that. I would say something like that. Yeah, why not? So historically, if you go through the games that have worked in the past and make those, then you can do quite well. Um, it's not in a sort of ideal scenario, and sometimes it doesn't work, but a lot of the time it does. Like, if you want to wait until the uh, the portable Tez comes out, or whatever they call it in this, or just, you know, the Game Boy, basically, wait until that comes out and make a... Uh, I think it's called a evolution or monster catching that's the genre casual game and you put it out on the market it basically sells out <laughs> in about 30 seconds you get so much money and you can just move to the new office it's just um great like that so yeah same as if you make like um racing simulation i found that anything simulation tends to work well it seems to be anything simulation not like dance simulation i haven't tried that uh, but we'll have to give that a go at some point uh, it looks like all the games off the market only sold sadly 16,000 units just over there let's uh oh there we go there is the tez so it's the tez that has been released with the horribly unergonomic controllers unergonomic inergonomic non-ergonomic Either way, it hurts your hand. So, new record for technology, and gameplay has gone up to level 2. These are all of our experiences here. So is AI and graphics, and then once again we'll release that game. While we are doing nothing else, we're going to go for uplinks and see about this game report here. And we'll also see what the release of this is like. So, this is Chivalry, and it is not very good by the look of it. 7, oh, nice experience by Star Games. 7, beautiful by Inform Gamer. 8, love it, Game Hero. And 6, quirky but good. Again, sort of an average in about that 7 out of 10. Either way, we have now managed to get 52 res research points, which means I'm going to research Custom Game Engine. So, a Custom Game Engine, it's where you have to... Oh, hang on. We've also got a contract work there. We'll do some of that later on. Yeah, the, the Game Engine, you can create the Game Engine and you can add different things in. Um... Game, game play is important to uh, apparently uplink 
the game. So yeah, hacking simulation. I found that throughout the, there is a couple of flaws in the game. Um, training is something you have to really keep on top of, but the problem is that it costs not only money and quite a lot of money towards the end of the game, but also a lot of research points. And I find that you also you're all always struggling to get research points. What you generally have to do is endlessly, if you've got enough money, just make an, the same engine again because you gain research points off that. For example, if I go to create custom engine, we can have 2D graphics version two, linear story and save game but if I go to research here you notice now we have game tutorials has just been unlocked so what I might do is find contract work and I'm gonna set up some contract work that should be hopefully quite easy let's set that one there and this gives us some cash if we complete it there's also a penalty if we fail it but also we're getting research points and I'm hopefully going to do enough of these uh, enough of these contract works to get our research up to 15 so let's keep on working that so find contract work once again some of these are harder than others and obviously will depend on the staff at the moment we have one staff that's all we have so the tez has been released there so we may end up developing on that we'll have to see we'll have to have a think about that one Let's get rid of all the pop-ups here and scratching the head which is not good you can see the time is going down so we're going to fail this by the look of it so we will be penalized sadly yeah, so there we go. Minus 10k. That's 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 bad. But I am generating these research points. And we're going to fail this one. I know I am because it's too much for this one person. Um, It doesn't look like we're going to get research points this way. I think we're just going to have to just make another game and we'll get enough research points. Let's do that. So develop new game. Pick a topic. I'm going to go this time with an alternate history adventure game. Once again on... Oh, I could go with... I could go with the Tez, but I think we're going to stick with PC. So, what can we call this? Back in time. Cool. Uh, 2D graphics, version 1. Starring quests, it's adventure game, it has to be quite high. Engine law, gameplay will bring down as well. And I, do, uh, I did find it, back in the day, quite fun recreating uh, the games. That used to uh, really enjoy. It's one of those things that you could do. There's some. It's curious to see as well a lot of the releases of the consoles as well and the history of it. An actual moment to moment is fairly simple, and there's a lot of games out there that do that cover the same sort of subject matter. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, certainly development of things like Software Inc. is the one that springs to mind, but that's got a lot more obviously larger focus, less arcadey in a sense, less casual. You have to build the buildings and do heating and power and staff management and huge teams and even there's like the... I think there's even now like the server side of it and things like that. I haven't played that game in quite some time. Um, but you've also got like hardware engineers and PC simulators. There's loads of games that out there. Um, startup companies, another similar thing. Uh, so there's a lot of those games out there. But this is like the, I think the first one that I really sort of got into. Anyway, let's release back in time. And we'll see that we've got a new record in our visuals. So we're all pretty and that's good. Let's release that game. There's a mono sound now research, which I will go to generate game report and we'll select chivalry and see what that is like. So our first reviews for back in time came in and it's going to be a 10, isn't it? It's not a 10, it's a 7. It's a 7, that's that's alright. 7, there's another 7. Good game, their focus on world design served this game very well. Beautiful by Game Hero and quirky but good. So once again, there's no great things in there we've just got the basic stuff and there's our game report so apparently sound seems to be quite important for this type of game okay cool we're going to do some research and i'm going to research probably mono sound it would be nice to get a couple more research points and then build the engine with everything but i found that if you are chasing the best stuff in the engine then you'll probably struggle i i did also find that mods drastically improved the game they really did like uh, i think one of them well we can actually see the mods and i ran if i got a lord we had um i don't know what all of these are learn by doing that was a great one that was as you are working so as your staff are working they get experience in their skills um finance mod was to do with like getting different um 
well, just different finance options instead of just you bankrupt or not. Vacation time was all of that, all of the vacation time, which we won't see because we don't have staff. Uh, competitor mod, yeah, you had other competitors and stuff, and expansion pack. Expansion packs were in the game, but I think that extended it. And then there was another one to do with overhauling your engines because. You know, the way it works now is if you want to add one feature into an engine, you have to just make that engine from scratch. So, yeah, bit of an issue. Anyway, we've just managed to get that 15 points. So I'm going to go with game tutorials, and then we are going to create an engine, and then we are going to make another game. I don't know what game we're going to make because we're running out of uh, of titles, of uh, genres and such. Not genres, um, themes. Themes. I should point out that if you make the same game again and again and again, you will get penalised for it. So let's go for game engine here. So I'm going to say these are the these are the features that we want in. So I want 2D graphics version two. I want linear story, save game options, game tutorials, and mono sound. This is game engine hashtag one. I normally on <laughs> certainly on when I'm playing on Android. Um, I just leave it at that because I end up generating so many engines I can't be bothered typing in uh, things like generic engine one things like that I can't be bothered even deleting that because I think I was playing the other day and I was only playing for about 45 minutes and I was on a game engine 14 after all that because it's the way just to get loads of research points once you've got enough money just keep researching but you notice that cost 150k and we were on 163 at the moment luckily our costs are only 8k a month but once you get staff it can be quite a big issue so back in time is off the market it's sold 25,000 units so not too bad at all not too bad at all for our little garage uh, operation here at least uh, we're not having to make our games recording them onto onto uh, tape, <laughs> onto a cassette, and try to sell them door to door uh, for for things like the Spectrum or something. Recent studies suggest the increasing variety of gaming devices also create a market for more specialised games, and we now have an option research for target audience, but we haven't yet researched that. Anyway, GE1 is now completed. Let's go to develop new game, and we will pick. What haven't we done? Have we done evolution? Evolution simulation? Evolution simulation or action? Evolution simulation might work. Let's go up on the PC with our GE1 and... Hmm. Spores. It's going to call Spores. We're going to go with 2D graphics version 2, 30k, so a bit more expensive and you can see the cost of this. So this is going to go up, but hopefully that will give us more points. And gameplay is going to be high, engine quite high. I'm going to turn on, these are our features here, I'm going to turn on all the features, and obviously that costs more money, so a linear story, it's 10k, game tutorials, 10k, and save game, 5k. Um, some of these, again, w wouldn't make much sense. Um, like for evolution simulation, I don't know if you'd want a story in that, but either way, we're going to go with probably that. And okay. Some of them make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like, I think I was making a, a dance, a da casual dance game, and it was like Day Night Cycle. What? Multiplayer? Hmm? MMO? What? <laughs> a dancing MMO? Don't know how that would work. Um, I guess that would be. I think there is. I guess there will be. There probably will be those. Anyway, uh, dialogues, game design. Yeah, we'll just have that as. So, what? AI? Yeah, makes sense, I guess. Uh, following the mass success of the test console, uh, now another company. This is Vena, so Sega. And it's curious to think, and also quite worrying, that when I think back at when I first played it, um, in this build you can get things like all of the new consoles. Those weren't even out when this game was first released, so at least they have kept up to date with things. <laughs> Uh great hair. Um, yeah, technology is 20, design 90. Can we get, yeah, we got we got that to 20. That's it. So we've got 20, 20, and hindsight record. Yeah, that's all right. So we've got new topic, new combo, bonuses for story and quests. Let's release that game. I'll also generate a game report on back in time. And I'm hoping that we're going to get a good, uh, good sale amount on this next game. There's uh, Vena uh, announcing that they have got the Master V, so the Sega Master System. And this is Spores. We've got, it's going to be 7s in it, 8, very good, said by Star Games. 
Ironically, star games can only go up to five. But there you are. Eight, seven, seven, eight. That'll be fine for me. Not too bad at all. So I think what we'll do is... Oh, yeah, that's selling really well. Look at that. 10k. Game report. World design is very important. Sound not important. Let's go for research. There's target audience there. Might as well research target audience. That's a good thing to do. So that's like everybody... Well, it's young everybody on mature games. I think I did play at some point and go through and just focus on either young or adult games. I think I did that before. And that was uh, quite a just real nice, not a nice little role-playing exercise. Let's go for a... Again, research, new topic, and we've got martial arts, assassin, hunting, hacking, or dance. We don't have casual, so I can't imagine dance simulation or anything would work. Hunting, assassin, action game? Martial arts. Let's go with martial arts, and we'll make a martial arts action game. And... There is research complete. Let's go with develop new game. We're going to have it as Martial Arts, Action, Great Combo, on PC, G1, Mature Game, it's called Kick, uh, Punch, Plus, next. 2D Graphics V2, we don't have 3D yet. should point out if you want 3D Graphics, you will get them eventually, but you have to wait up until a certain point like you have to get uh, version one of the 3d graphics and then let and then build a certain amount of games until you get that leveled up and then you get options for it if you don't do that you just won't get the options and i was very confused that i was releasing i think it was probably 2d graphics version five or six i can't remember if there's a six but certainly five um and <laughs> i was releasing these things um when like the the latest generation of Xbox was coming out, <laughs> coming out. This is a major inquiry. You can see it's introducing new elements as we go on. Uh, so it's Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. Rumors that company's developing a mature audience game. I'm going to give an interview. There we go. We'll publish the interview next week, and then we might even get some uh, some hype around the game. So there you go. According to, uh, according to the interview with a company working on the first game, Target at Mature Players, Derek, owner of CEO of Generic Development, said, We think players are looking for more mature content and games willing to take a risk to give it to them. Fair enough. Many industry experts said that sooner or later, games with mature themes will come common. There we are. Uh, hype 6. Yes, we have got some hype. I must confess, uh, the, the, the UI for... The, I say Android, but I'm assuming mobile devices in general is uh, it's just slicker. It is just slicker. I would have thought that when it went back and retrofitted this. Um, either way, this is not going to be great because you can see we've only got 15 and 20, where 15 and 19 as opposed to 2020. But uh, that is now released, Kick Punch. But uh, it is a new, new genre and whatnot. New topic, new combo. Mm, 2D graphics version two is leveled up. Let's go for research we've got a new topic we can go for school let's research school first reviews are coming in this is probably gonna be our lowest one maybe no eight very enjoyable eight very good eight oh it's actually quite higher than i expected it's down it's eight across the board right yeah so kick punch plus is selling yes it is selling it's pretty good Research complete is school. So, let's do something a bit different. Let's go with school. I'm going to pick it on the Tez. We will pick up the license for that. She point out that simulation is only a one plus adventure they don't like. So, we're going to go for school simulation, which is... Oh, school RPG? School RPG is great combo. And RPG is okay on the Tez. But we're going to put it to young audiences because that's, after all, what, you know, the arguably the Tez was... You know, target that. And what should we call it? Learn all the things. Okay. Oh, learn all the thing, apparently. Oh, no. It was. It was just off the edge. Okay. It's called Learn the Thing. Things. And uh, Learn the Thing. Young audience. School RPG on the Tez G1. 2D graphics version 2. Start development. 
couple of points go in there before we start selecting things. This is an RPG, so story and quests obviously quite high, engine low, and I reckon that. So a bit repetitive in some senses, but we get that nice little dopamine hit as we hit the bubbles go bloop, 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 which is <laughs> probably designed into it. AI quite low, level design, we're going to put uh, mid-tier and dialogues is there as well. So I mean, this could be a maybe like a, a Zelda... A Zelda um, competitor. There's a new research available for casual games, uh, which is hopefully pretty good. Let's go with probably that. Well designed, quite high. Graphics mid, and then low on the sound. And recent market data shows the Governor 64 seems to be slowly losing market share against the PC. Oh dear, oh dear. What a shame, never mind. We haven't released anything on that, so I don't really care. 22 in design, 14 in technology. One would argue that design would be higher for this. Or be like, like nice be high, higher. Uh, no bugs in the code. See if we're about done. Let's release that and generate a game report because we've just had Kick Punch go off the market. So you can see profit was 116 grand. Oh, spores. We haven't done spores actually. We'll do that and we'll see all these first. And we're getting some research points. But actually, you know what's there? <laughs> I was doing that before we finished this. So new record, and once again, we've got more bonuses because if it's a new topic and new combo. And I'm just generating game reports on all of these. And, ah, portable gaming device called the Gameling. There you go. So we have the Game Boy. Obviously, it's the Game Boy. And, so learn the thing. Nine, almost perfect. Nine, one of the best. Seven, beautiful. Nine. Great game. Okay. Happy. Learn the thing. First month. 10,000 units. Excellent. Game reports coming in. Sound is quite important, apparently. You need to hear the bones crack. Evolution simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important. That's for spores. Let's go for research. And you've got casual games. I will research casual games because I think we're going to release... Release? Mr. Bond. Sean Connery. Uh, release a casual game on the game link. I think that would help us out. Well, what sort of casual game would you want to release on the game link? I don't really know. Let's let's see. Oh, there's that being released now, yeah. And let's develop a new game. No, sorry, research. A new topic here. And I mean, dance. A casual dance game on the game link? Let's see. Let's see. See what that's like. Sometimes you have to take some risks. We got nearly half a million, so I'm not too bothered about that. So pick a topic, dance, casual game. I'm sure those were different. And um, maybe those have been updated since I last played it. I'm gonna put on the game link. Costs 50 grand to get the license. Engine is GE1. Young. Or do I want to say everybody? Yeah, we'll say young. And dance with your thumbs cool uh, it's casual next once again 2d graphics we have got everything in this engine that we need well look at that so dance casual engine and quests just low everything's about the gameplay but we'll put the other bits in our engine is up to date so we can't get any more here i do like the idea of say Get going ahead of the curve and ch ch ahead in the curve and changing things and researching stuff that wasn't around to be more like what would you call it like just sort of just different I guess to what was going on at the time make it a bit revolutionary I think that's where the competitor stuff come in because if they'd push one way you'd have to go on the other I know software Inc has a similar thing with that um, we now have, I think, research. Yeah, new uh, marketing is now a, an option. So 18 and 18 in design and technology there. We're levelling that up a little bit. If we can get to 2020, I'd be quite happy. I don't think we will. I'm just waiting for a while. Uh, looks like learn the things off the market. 45,000 units sold, so that's all right. One more on technology, that would be nice. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to sit around too much. I'm going to generate a game report. Actually, I'll wait until this to be released. There we go. 
So new topic, new combo once again, leveling up in gameplay and other things there, that's fine. And, oh, release a successful game on each of the five main genres. Cool. Achieve. Oh, we now have 2D graphics version 3 and then version 1 because I've hit level 3 in the graphics. So I can go to research and I can't go sadly to 2D graphics version 3 because I don't have the research points. But I am going to go with, you know what, generate game report on learn the thing. And let's see what our reviews are going to be like. It's going to be 10s. Come on. Come on, 10s. Go on some 10s. 9. More please by Star Games. 8. Very good informed gamer. One of the best, my game hero. Sadly, not so much on that one. Eight. So, again, quite high. We haven't had any absolute stinkers so far. And there's... Oh, Learn with Thumbs is selling loads. Look at that. Oh, wow. 50k units sold. And there's also... Ah, oh, Venna has now got the Venna gear, the game gear. Which I've, I never owned a game gear. In fact, I very rarely... I think I hardly played on a game gear. Are we going to get the office here? Close. Let's go with research. Better you. Uh, do you want to go with 3D graphics or better user experience? I'm going to go with 3D graphics. Why not? But I'll have to make a new engine in order to get this in in there, which is, as I said earlier, a bit of a problem. Uh, we've sold over 10,000 units. Wow, that's good. That's very good. Pay 150 to move office. Yeah, let's go. Let's move office. So this way it starts to get a bit more, um, a bit more, I wouldn't say complicated, but a bit more in depth. So we need to fill a position now. So I'm going to, oh, I need to, I need to do the staff management training. So I'm going to train and this is where we can see our character. So we're level two and our technology and design. So these points up here are 300 each. So the higher those are, the more you get. Speed is 300 and research is 300. So you're an all-rounder. But when you hire people, it changes them. But you can also get things like these book studies here. But then you get, like, as you level up and get more uh, better offices and more access to resources, you'll have more training available. So we can go for, say, game dev gems. It says five uh, research points, which is, again, a problem that you run into, you know, run out research points. Uh, cost 15k and increase your technology uh, by a bit design by a bit and then research and speed by not much but you can say make me think similar thing but it's just research only we're gonna go for staff management it doesn't cost any research points but it does cost some uh, it does cost something um, oh there is the Vena gear and what I want to do is I want to get some more staff members and I want to get them now because when you hire staff members you have you can pick either well i'm going to go with shore reel then you have your budget i'm going to say the budget is it's not going to be very much it's only going to be hmm i'm going to say 80k all right so we're searching here because at the moment we've got no games on the market and we're going to have to hire four members of staff as you point out, you don't have to hire four members of staff, but if you don't, every time you get a new person in, their efficiency working together goes down. So this is Luke Williams. You do get named people in here. I mean, I know Michael Ford, uh, <laughs> Michelle Ford, sorry, has a name, uh, all these, but you get like, um, it'll be John Cormack or, uh, you know, uh, or Gabe uh, Newhall, things like that. You'll get people who are in games. Uh, you'll get them in the in this game, um, but slightly renamed. I'm just looking for does someone that's really good at design. So 122. Oh, there we go. George Mack. Um, they're really good at design. What's that all about? So we'll hire those. 16k a month, but we'll say... There we go. I'm going to hire another person, but this time with complex algorithms. Um, and we'll say 80k there. And I will do train and I'm going to go for the staff welcome training so you can see this uh, there's like a little bar here it's hardly visible but that's like their I don't know what you call it cohesion or it's basically how they work together um, and if you do not train them you will find that you'll be in a bit of bother hang on close that close that research once again sure real this time we'll be a little bit less, and I will go for the usual. Um, generate game report on Dance with the Thumbs. They're finishing that, by the look of it. And this side's going to be design. Mm. Mm. 
Manuel Bradley in. <laughs> Another Brad, two Bradleys. I'm gonna go with Elizabeth here. And then staff welcome training. And finally, comp complex algorithms. 80k. But I mean, you look at the cash. We were on a million, over a million at one point, and now we're down to well, not that <laughs> under half. But I am hiring some of the best people I can. Oh, they're really good. Okay. I probably have... I think my reach has ex uh, exceeded my grasp here. So, train, staff welcome training. I've just noticed as well, this carpet is extremely dense. See it all rooked up against the edges of, <laughs> like, the plant pot and things like that. That's that's probably a, a six-inch thick carpet. That's a trampoline, not carpet. Anyway, um... Oh, there you go. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised as Govador has gone for filed for bankruptcy. I'm going to go for probably create custom... Uh, no, no, we can't create, create a custom engine now. Find contract work. Let's just do some contract work and see if... Oh, yeah, they're all scratching their heads. See, that soon as we start to do it, they just stop working because they're, they're not used to working together. All of their um, thing is quite low. So we might we might knock this out of the park just at the last moment. Yeah, we did. We did manage to get that done. That's good. So once again, find contract work. That'll never be done. Possibly. Possibly. I'm just waiting for this to go up. That's all I'm waiting for. No point in doing a no point in working on a project when all this cohesion is quite low. Although I could probably start making a game now. I should probably start making a game now. Develop new game then. Um, I don't know what we have done. Um, I think maybe a new topic. Let's research a new topic. Research. New topic. Um, city. Oh yes, yeah, city would be quite good. Research. Better user experience. Might as well research some of these. But look at the cash. I think I'm going to go bankrupt. I think what I've done is hire these people. I've hired the best people possible, which is great. Uh, that's that's That sounds really good. Until you realise that actually you can't afford to keep them on payroll. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll end up getting a loan, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> but I think mistakes have been made. Develop new game. We're going to go with a city uh, simulation game. Great combo. On PC. Uh, marketed for everybody. And um... Cities... City... Just call it City Sim. Rather than Sim City or... Yeah. Every, any other... There's many other names are available. Our bank account is in the red. Yeah, so we've just given... They've just given us a bit of cash there. But sadly, it's not going to work. Uh, we are going to go bankrupt. I think you get one last opportunity. I think... The, basically, the bank comes in and says, look, you have, here's us some cash, you have to pay us back soon, and then, you know, otherwise you will be, you will be out of business, but whatever, let's try, let's try and get this thing out the, uh, out the door, but even with all of these staff, it's, it doesn't mean that you're going to get a better game, there you go, bank offer, so, we can receive half a million, and we basically have to dig ourselves out of this hole, luckily, you can see that these are all, pretty much people are working together now, and, our design technology are really quite high. But we'll get these bugs removed. And we'll finish that game. New record. New topic, new combo. Nice level ups there. And release that. And we've now got a level editor. I'm going to go straight into developing a new game. Um, school RPG. Didn't we do that though? Hang on. No. Uh, game history. Come on here, hang on. Learn the thing. School RPG, we've done it already. Um, what if we go for develop new game, school, adventure game, on PC, because we know that adventure works very well, and school quest and there we go and I'm still waiting for this other game to be released but we shall see here it goes sim city needs to be good city sim is not very good oh no seven then a nine there may be maybe an outlier seven eight okay 
So it wasn't too bad. But can we sell enough copies to keep in business? I do not know. Because the bank will foreclose. <laughs> um, let's just hope that school quest does well. Like I said though, oh, we have a strong audience. Everybody. Okay. That doesn't mean that everybody's strong. It means that if you build your game for everybody, then there's uh, some advantages there. But uh, we don't have that. I'd very much like to make a new engine at this stage, but it's not going to happen. Not with the cash that we don't have. Let's remove the bugs. Technology and design is quite good though. And then we're going to wait a little bit of time for them to put a couple more points into these. You see? They also can... Oh no! Uh, CCM had quite a few bugs. Undiscovered actually. We need to patch it. So I'm going to develop a patch. 30 grand to develop a patch. But I think it's worth it. If you don't, you'll lose fans. New record for our design here. And let's see what that's like. There's better, better dialogues in open world. Uh... Um, now available. I'm going to start researching mm, a new topic. Comedy. Oh no, there is comedy. Spy. Oh, let's go for a spy RPG. Or spy simulator. Oh, school quest. There was a. That's nines. I just want. Come on, can we get a, sing a singular ten? One unit of ten. It's not happening. Just, just, it's eluding us, isn't it? It is really eluding us. But we have two games on the market. Oh, there's Venna with the Oasis, which would be the Master System. Or is it Master, master System? Or, yeah, that'll be the Master System. I thought it was the Saturn, actually, no, but there is a Saturn, I'm sure, in the game. And School Quest is selling. Good. There's some research done. Develop new game. We're going to go for a Spy. A mature spy game. Simulation or RPG? RPG. Spy RPG. On PC. So. What should we have? What should we call it? Um, gumshoe? Uh, uh, Hard boiled. RPG. Still on 2D graphics, even though we've researched 3D graphics version 1 quite a while ago. There we go. It's because we haven't made a new engine. That's it. Um, I think that our monthly costs. Oh, there's our patch release and it seems to work quite well. I'm going to alter some of these. Oh, there we go. Efficiency's going down now on these guys. Yeah, I think because of the patch that's worked out, that's uh, pretty good. But the cash that we loaned, we do have to pay back. And our efficiency is going down on these guys because they need holidays. So they've been, in, you know, they've been developing. We're not in crunch, but we have released you know, three games, and now they're like, can, can I go home now? I haven't seen, I haven't fed the dog. <laughs> uh, Skill Quest is off the market. Fifty-one units sold. We are just waiting for a couple more points to be added here for design and technology. Just remove that bug. And we're going to finish. And then while I'm doing that, I'll send them on the vacation. Um, horribly, I don't know whether they'll actually come back to a job because of our cash flow issues. But uh, let's release that game. Uh, Simple Cutscenes is now available for research. But everybody is going to go on vacation. And this is our hard-boiled. It's going to be terrible. Oh, Spy and RPG is a great combination. It's eight. It's not terrible. It's all right, but it's just not good enough. No tens. I think we expanded too quickly. I do think we expanded too quickly. So, yeah. I mean, unless, unless this sells, a, you know, hundreds of thousands of units, we're going to be in a lot of bother, actually. Everybody's back from holiday. Um, we've still got a bit of cash, but I think you only have a couple of days in order to really do something else. Uh, movie simulation. Casual? Mm, I could make the movies. What Movie simulation, is that, what it, is that what it would be? Uh, films. Let's try that. Let's try that. Put it as developed for everybody, but... 
it's uh, the I said developer everybody because I think it would be a good fit, but also because the market was trending towards everybody. And oh dear, I think we've just gone bankrupt. I can see the I can see the alert on the left. Oh no, it's, it's only a reminder. It's only a reminder. <laughs> we have to pay under just under a million in three months' time. Yeah, that's uh, good. It's been it's been good looking back at the game, uh, <laughs> but we're not going to survive this. We're not going to survive it. Um, yeah, let's just let's just do what we can. We'll get it out the door. If it sells loads of units, great. If not, we know that uh, next time, don't spend you know loads and loads of money on the best talent possible because basically you can't afford to do so. Um, obviously, I'm not releasing games with bugs in the code. We could try and do that and keep it as a flaw, but that doesn't seem to be... Well, it just wouldn't work out in the end. Not ethical. Let's see what happens. Generate game report for hard-boiled, but I think... Unless this is tens, we're out of business. Oh, that's it. Alright, if the first one's a seven, that's it. That's us. Okay. I'll start filling in the paperwork. <laughs> I'll start getting the cardboard boxes out of the... Uh, out of the basement for you to uh, pack all your stuff. It's been good. Um, we'll tell them in advance. They're not going to wake up, you know, and come into work find that you know that all their stuffs on the pavement and this generic developments on the side has been scrubbed out and stages foreclosure. Um, oh dear, cash has been deducted, and um, game over. Oh, not smiley face. Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. We've got confirmation that generic developments, which has been in financial trouble lately, has gone bankrupt. Is that Electronic Mass Productions has bought us out. Wow, EA's bought us out. Well, normally they'd buy someone out and then they would go bankrupt rather than the other way around. We can restart the level or start over. I guess we'll start over, but we will leave it there for now. Yeah, you can see that you can you do get some issues. I, I, I messed up there when it came to the hiring. I should have hired uh, people who were maybe maybe hire one, one or two really highly qualified people and then a couple of novices um, that would have been cheaper but as soon as I was in that downward spiral I couldn't stop to make a new game engine which would put all the new features in to then really something to get higher scores so yeah it also is like quite random with some of the um, some of the topics that you have if you don't start with topics that you're used to or that you like then the matches are problematic so yeah, either way, it's been quite nice to uh, jump back into this. Like I said at the start, I don't think we can really class this as a nostalgia video per se, but it's getting there. It is getting there. I honestly think it just, I'm, I'm enjoying it more on uh, Android. I really do think it's the presentation is a bit better. Um, I know you can't get mods, but it just seems to work. It's fine on that one. It's, uh, it is quite a nice uh, couch game. Either way, that's been a bit of Game Dev Tycoon. If you uh, want to see more, by all means, let me know, and I'm happy to uh, try it out again. Hopefully, it's been a nice little uh, journey. And uh, if you want to see, obviously, the game, uh, want to play it yourself, rather, then links are in the description. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.